Exploring English narration. Dive into second person point of view. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our series on storytelling and narrative techniques. Today, we are diving into the world of second person narration, an exciting and engaging style of storytelling that's quite unique in its approach. In essence, second person narration refers to using the pronoun, you, to direct the story at the reader. Unlike first person, I, or third person, he, she, it, perspectives, second person narration creates a more intimate and direct relationship with the reader, who is addressed as if they're a part of the narrative. Imagine opening a book to read. You walk down the dimly lit street, feeling the cold wind rush past your face. It's an entirely different feel, isn't it? Although it's not as common as other narrative perspectives, second-person narration can be incredibly effective. It's often used to give readers a sense of immersion, making them feel like they're the ones experiencing the events of the story. This point of view can be especially potent in choose-your-own-adventure books, self-help material, or interactive stories where the reader makes decisions that impact the story's outcome. Despite its unique appeal, second-person narration can be challenging to use effectively. It may feel awkward or jarring to some readers since it's not commonly used. It can also be harder for the writer to create a wide range of characters and experiences, as everything is told through the reader's perspective. For example, you can't say, she saw the sunrise, and it took her breath away, in the second person. Instead, you might say, you see the sunrise, and it takes your breath away. To give you a sense of this narrative style, here are a few examples. 1. You walk into a room full of people. They all turn to look at you. 2. You can feel your heart pounding in your chest as you run. 3. You are the only one who can solve this mystery. It's all up to you. Try to imagine yourself in these scenarios. That's the power of second-person narration. That wraps up our exploration of second-person narration. It's an adventurous way of narrating that brings a whole new level of immersion and connection to a story. Remember, though it can be tricky to use, with practice, it could become a valuable tool in your English language toolbox. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.